Our relationship with the Mazda 3 is taking a turn from casual use into full-on bender. We followed our first contact with an enthusiastic, oh, yeah, that's the stuff, concluding that the car stood as a strong threat to the Focus's class-leading status. Then we took another look, proving ourselves right and crowning the three king over our erstwhile small car champ, the Ford Focus, and naming the Mazda to our 10 best list in 2014. Then we proclaimed it better than anything else in its segment in a five-way matchup and again awarded it a 10 best slot for 2015. Now, we've stocked up on Doritos and Klondike bars and are settling in for 40,000 miles. Our last encounter with the three prompted a lengthy defense of how such a small car could possibly justify a $28,385 price tag. Satisfied with our case, we decided that our new long-term three should be even more expensive. So we started the same way that last test did, with a 3S Grand Touring Hatchback. Base price $26,365. That includes the bigger, more powerful engine, a 2.5 liter in with 184 horsepower and 185 LBFT, 18 inch aluminium wheels, and a startling amount of full scale luxury car stuff, adaptive headlights, rain sensing wipers, blind spot monitors, a rear view camera, a head up display, and a touchscreen navigation infotainment system that can also be controlled by a knob between the front seats. To that we added the $1,750 appearance package, which swaps in sportier fashions and rockers and adds a spoiler atop the rear hatch. After floor mats, a cargo mat, and a couple of other ports and stall tidbits, we arrived at $28,510. Radio no go, no sooner were the break in miles complete than our three headed to Chicago, cursed territory where our long term cars have been broken into, re rendered, and driven into the paths of marauding Lincoln navigators. This trip was comparatively painless, but not entirely. On the return, the three ceased playing music from a connected iPhone, although the phone still showed the music progressing. So the driver switched to the radio, which would only play through the speakers on the right side of the car. At this time, the NAF system stopped giving spoken instructions. A quick cycling of the ignition solved this occurrence of the problem, but we are concerned that a few lines of broken code are hiding somewhere in the labyrinth. While that episode was a first, the rest of our experience thus far has followed the script established by previous encounters. The strong engine pulled the car through the quarter mile in 15.6 seconds at 91 miles per hour on its first outing to the test track, hitting 60 miles per hour in 7.4 seconds along the way. From past experience, we already know the Mazda is quick. Communicative steering and delightful handling balance deliver lateral thrills beyond its skid pad figure, but, along with our top speed venue, our skid pad has been blanketed with snow since the three's arrival, and so those tests have yet to be completed. A previous example of this car pulled 0.84 grams s, however. Winter is unlikely to last the duration of our three stay but it seems probable that our infatuation with the little Mazda will dot Jared Gore, what we like, just about everything. After spending two consecutive weekends in the car, features editor Jeff Sabatini summed it up thusly, I would gladly sign this out any day until we hit 40,000 miles. Stuff I like about the three, seat heaters that stay set where you left them after you turn the car off, the infotainment system's clear and intuitive interface, great ergonomics, a shifter that moves almost telepathically, and steering and pedals that are perfectly balanced. This car is just so calm, so relaxing and enjoyable to drive, it's almost meditative. What we don't like, given that laundry list of likes, our cons column is unsurprisingly shallow both in terms of the number of items on it and the importance of those items. 
One driver thought the tires were a little loud, and another wished that the 12 volt power outlet were at the base of the center stack instead of in the bin at the back of the console, so that the cord for his radar detector didn't interfere with the shifter. What went wrong? Leaving a coffee shop one morning, one of us, who could pretty obviously claim to be insufficiently caffeinated, backed into a post. He reports seeing the post looming in the backup camera and turning his head to see where it was, which should tell you it wasn't one of the young whippersnappers, who wouldn't have thought to want more information than the technology was providing. The impact came in the moment between when his eyes left the camera and when they found the top of the post, now all too close to the rear window. A new bumper cover set us back $1,423. Where we went, nowhere. Aside from one trip to southern Indiana and two to western Michigan, the three has been stuck in an endless commuting loop which still couldn't stop our observed fuel economy from climbing by one mile per gallon. To 29. It's nothing against the three, it's just that our fleet is thick with more exciting road trippers, BMW, M3, Chevy Corvette, Porsche Cayman, Tesla Model SB, 85D. The three did go to the dealer once, for its first service at 9940 miles like the rest of the car, that was a loca fare, just an oil change, tire rotation, and inspection. For dollar ninety nine dot Jared Gall, what we like during our twenty two thousand two hundred miles and eleven months with the Mazda three, we have come to a unanimous conclusion. When Mazda asks for us to return it, there will be blood. Mazda PR person, shouldn't you be done testing our car by now? C D, who's this? What car? Go away. Wrong number. The Mazda 3 is the essence of lightness and agility, yet it's as solid as an IBM. It responds almost telepathically to inputs, notably the gratifying shifter, a device that Volkswagen and BMW would be proud to have hatched. You can jump rudely in and out of the throttle without inducing driveline snatch. Tracking, even in strong crosswinds, is excellent with fluid turn-in and an omnipresent sense of stability. In fact, this Thurgeon 3 has doubled its caster angle, which encourages the steering to track straight. On the original Comet M and S tires, the rider handling trade-off is just about perfect. NVH levels, for what is essentially an economy car, are extraordinarily low, although wind noise can be heard. At idle. You'll sometimes glance at the tack to see if the engine is still ticking. The primary and secondary control relationships are bang on. And the steering is light but pleasantly informative. On two occasions, this car covered 1,000 miles in a single day without doing mental or physical damage to its pilot. Even the arm and interior meets our approval, bright and optimistic while so far resisting grubbiness. What we don't like, okay, here comes the nitpicking, the location of the 12 volt power outlet means the cord for your radar detector sometimes tries to strangle the shifter. We'd like to experiment with pads to see if we can get a slightly firmer brake pedal. The front seats could use a little more latcher bolstering. The order-like radio volume control, just behind the shifter is still not intuitive after 11 months of reaching for it. And the hood release pull and fuel flap release are side by side, meaning you'll accidentally open the hood at every other fuel stop. And, uh, that's about it. The last time the entire CD staff happily agreed as wholeheartedly as this, it was for free beer on Fridays. What went wrong? Nothing went wrong. Well. A couple of radio lockup issues were reported, but they seem to have vanished following a software update at the second service. The cost of the two services at 9,940 miles and 18,290 miles set us back $287 total. We can't blame this on the Mazda 3, but one of our editors, a man whose love for this car borders on the obsessive, Backed the thing into a post as solid as an aircraft carrier. 
He felt bad about it but at least didn't spill his coffee. A new bumper cover set us back $1,423. Where we went, apart from one trip to Chicago, a quick blast to the Indy 500, and a lot of shorter jaunts throughout Michigan, the Mazda 3's greatest adventure so far has been its tour in Montana, where it spent a happy summer with John Phillips on his Dubridge Cat Ranch. In Big Sky Country, it made a trip to the funky writer's haven at the Murray Hotel in Livingston, Montana, and also carried Phillips's mother-in-law and elderly aunt to Elkhorn Hot Springs, where both ladies refused to take a warming dip naked. Further, the car became lodged within an actual Honisto Guard cattle drive, moving along Montana Highway 43, in Wise River at a speed that matched whatever velocity suited the cowboys' horses and their twin border collies, one of whom was carrying a softball. Later, the car's real wells had to be hosed out. Phillips drove the Mazda 3 back to Ann Arbor for our annual 10 best soiree, then home again to Montana, 4,000 miles in 10 days, it passed those miles competently and in serenity, delivering 12 hour per day comfort. This is a charming automobile. John Phillips.